GhostBSD is one of the simplest and most user-friendly operating systems built on top of FreeBSD, designed for people who want the power, stability, and security of the BSD world, but in a desktop-friendly package. In this video, we're going to explore what GhostBSD is, why it exists, what makes it different from Linux, and why many users are quietly switching to it for their daily computing needs. GhostBSD starts from the FreeBSD base, which has a reputation for rock-solid stability, clean code, and a very mature networking stack. But FreeBSD itself is not meant for beginners it's more certain. GhostBSD fills that gap by taking the powerful core of FreeBSD and adding a polished desktop experience on top. When you install GhostBSD, you instantly get a ready to use system with a graphical environment, drivers, and pre-installed software without having to manually configure everything. One of the first things you'll notice is that GhostBSD uses the Mate desktop environment by default. This is a lightweight, stable, and classic desktop that feels familiar, especially to users coming from older versions of GNOME or from Linux distributions that value simplicity. Because it's lightweight, Mate gives GhostBSD excellent performance, even on older hardware. GhostBSD also offers XFCE in some builds, giving users another option if they want an even lighter system. Now, one of the strongest points of GhostBSD is its focus on a simple installation experience. FreeBSD has an installer that's functional but not very user-friendly. GhostBSD changes that completely. It uses a graphical installer that guides you step by step, similar to what you see in Ubuntu or Linux Mint. Partitioning, selecting your time zone, creating users everything is streamlined. This removes one of the biggest barriers that stops new users from trying BSD systems. Another unique aspect of GhostBSD is its OpenRC in its system. While FreeBSD normally uses its traditional RC system, GhostBSD switched to OpenRC for better service management. If you've used Gen2 or Alpine Linux, you might already know OpenRC. It gives you faster boot times, easy control over system services, and clean configuration. This makes GhostBSD feel more modern without losing the stability of FreeBSD. A key advantage of GhostBSD is the ZFS file system which comes built. ZFS is known for its advanced features snapshots, data integrity checks, self-healing, and strong protection against data corruption. Linux distributions can support ZFS, but often with some licensing complications. On GhostBSD and FreeBSD, ZFS is fully native. For users who care about data reliability or run big storage systems, this is a huge bonus. Software installation on GhostBSD is also simple. You can use PKG FreeBSD's package manager, which contains thousands of ready-made binaries. GhostBSD also maintains its own repositories to ensure desktop apps are available in polished and stable versions. For those who want even more control, the ports collection allows compiling software from source, but unlike FreeBSD, GhostBSD tries to make everything work out of the box so users don't have to deeply tweak the system. Performance is another area where GhostBSD shines. Because it's built on FreeBSD, it has a very efficient memory subsystem and excellent networking performance. Many people report smoother multitasking and better responsiveness compared to some Linux distributions, especially on modest hardware. This is part of the reason developers, system administrators, and privacy-conscious users like GhostBSD as a daily driver. Speaking of privacy, GhostBSD inherits the strong security model of FreeBSD. BSD systems have a reputation for being more conservative, more thoroughly audited, and less prone to random regressions. FreeBSD's security framework, jail system, file permissions, and clean architecture make GhostBSD a very trustworthy operating system for people who care about safety. Another reason some users switch to GhostBSD is the BSD licensing. Unlike GPL, the BSD license is very permissive. You can use modify, redistribute, or even build commercial products on top of it without having to open source your changes. This may not matter to everyday desktop users, but it matters a lot to developers and companies and it's part of the reason BSD code is found all over the tech world, including in Mac OS, PlayStation, Juniper routers, and more. GhostBSD also offers excellent hardware support but with some limitations you should know. Because FreeBSD development is more conservative, very new GPUs and Wi-Fi chipsets may not be supported immediately, Intel and AMD graphics generally work well, but NVIDIA needs proprietary drivers, and some newer laptop Wi-Fi cards might require workarounds. GhostBSD, however, includes many patches and improvements to make the desktop experience as smooth as possible. Overall, GhostBSD is perfect for people who want a BSD-based system that just works. 
It provides a friendly interface, stability, and strong security, and removes the complexity that normally comes with BSD systems. It's not trying to replace Linux for everyone, but for users who want something cleaner, simpler, and more predictable. GhostBSD can be a refreshing alternative. In the BSD family, GhostBSD is one of the most accessible options. You don't have to be a system administrator or a server expert. You can install it, update it, use it, and enjoy it just. Like a regular desktop OS, if you're coming from Linux and want to try something new without jumping into something too complex like pure free BSD or OpenBSD, GhostBSD might be the perfect middle ground. By the end of this video, the goal is to make you understand what GhostBSD really offers. A stable system, a consistent desktop, lightweight performance, strong security, and a clean Unix philosophy without extra complexity. If you're looking for a powerful desktop OS that isn't Linux but still feels familiar and friendly, GhostBSD deserves a spot on your list.